Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my first story time. And what encouraged me to do the story time, of course, is my little sister. But, you know, I really been wanting to do a story time for the longest because I've just been having so much, so much happen to me back to back to back to back. And at this point, like, I don't even know how I'm still so strong. So I just want to start sharing my story because it might help somebody out there or maybe somebody could help me. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, this story is going to be about a recent car accident I was in and I got invited to, how it started was, I got invited to a masquerade ball and I made my dress for the ball. I was really excited to attend because I like to attend events where I can market myself and I can network with people. So I ended up making a dress and attending the ball. I had lots and lots of fun. Like I, had plenty. I had an amazing time at the ball and it was time for us to leave and we left around one something. And I was driving home on the highway and like the highway where I live it's just it's it's super super difficult it's very crazy like back in Florida the only way to get off the highway just turn right off the highway but over here it's just like turn left into this highway and then turn around another left it's just so much different places you're going all at once it's just like what the heck and my GPS did not make things any better. So I was driving on the highway and I had to turn left to go to, to go to the direction I was going to go home. And right when literally like I was about to pass where to turn left, the um, GPS was just like, turn left. I'm just like, are you kidding me right now? I'm like in the middle lane. So I move, I like try to quickly to move over because if you pass your exit over here, it's gonna be hell to get to find your way back. So I was just like trying to move over. And then that's when there was a car in my blind spot and I did not see the car at all. And we just hit each other. And then, like, I thank God, like, I'm not a fast driver. My friends always make fun of me talking about I'm, like, I drive like a grandma. Even though my mom thinks I drive like a race car driver, I don't, I don't get it. But, but I'm not a fast driver. Even my sister is just always like, you're always at the speed limit or even lower than the speed limit. Like, my sister always makes fun of me because I just, I'm not a fast driver. I'm not. So, um, we crash into each other. And then I just instantly started screaming and crying. Like one of my friends, we went to the event together and we was driving like he was in front of me and I was behind. And he saw when it happened, but he didn't think it was me. So I instantly called him because he was like not too far from me. I instantly called him and I just started screaming and crying. I don't know if y'all ever been in a car accident before. It's like the most scariest feeling ever. It is so, so scary. It's just like, I just um, I just remember me closing my eyes and just wishing when I opened my eyes that this is all a dream. Like, you want it to be all a dream because it's just like, no, this is reality. Am I really in a car accident? Did I really, am I really going through this? Like, it is the most scariest feeling ever. So I just instantly started screaming and crying. Like, I can't believe, like, like I said, like I wanted to start a story time way before because I just been having so much different things happen to me back to back to back. And for me to be in that car accident, I'm just like, oh my God, now a car accident is just so much back to back to back. So I called my friend, I was on the phone with him crying. He was just like, calm down, calm down, call the police. I called the police, explained where I was at and then uh, my friend, my other guy friend ended up coming to, you know, like just said, stayed on the scene with me until everything was over. 
and the person that in, I in the crashing to she was actually extremely extremely nice she came and checked on me and I was more in shock I was just like scared I was just like wondering if she was okay but she's like she was totally fine she walked out and came to me and was just checking on me and like I just felt so bad but in the meantime I felt so scared of the situation to be going through this like it was just such a scary feeling um but you know I ended up the police ended up showing up and he, he of course gave me a ticket and also my court date is not until January which is a good thing it's after the holiday season and he purposely did that so I won't think about it um during the holiday season and um yeah so the girl's okay I have to get my car fixed and I don't know y'all I'm just gonna keep you updated let you guys know what's going on in my life and if anybody out there been in a car accident or you have had a loved one been in a car accident and they're okay give them that support because a car accident is so traumatizing and it's so traumatizing and I'm such a strong person and to, for me to even be breaking down like this is bugging me but it's just so traumatizing I just I've been in a bad car accident that I will one day talk about and this car accident happened three years ago it was like I'm surprised to even be filming right now to even be alive right now because that car accident was so bad I'm surprised to even be alive but a car accident is traumatizing. It's traumatizing. Like anybody that you know that you care about, comfort them, make sure they're okay. Like they may be physically okay, but mentally they're not okay sometimes. Like it's it's serious. So if you been the car accident, get some help, stay around somebody that you know that's actually going to comfort you and make you feel better and not blame you or not make you feel horrible by the situation, but actually help you move on. And if you know somebody that's been in a car accident, just because they're walking around and they okay, they didn't have any scratches or bruises on them, don't assume that they're okay. Just go check on them, make sure they're okay. But that's the end of my story time. And hopefully it doesn't bring down your mood. I'm okay physically. And I do have an amazing support system, family and friends that are just amazing people like they support me and make sure I'm okay daily and so everybody out there just make sure you have a great support system all the time not even for a car accident just during the good and bad that happens to you in life but thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a wonderful day and stay safe and subscribe to my channel to see more story time and of course fashion vlogs and etc all right you guys i love y'all bye